Howdy y'all, my name is Price, I'm coming at you with another episode of Price's Rogues Gallery, and today we're doing something a little different, uh, a little, uh, not quite roguelite not quite exactly what we've done in the past, but I think that this game fits well enough in there, and god damn it, it's a good game and I want you guys to see it. Uh, this game has been out for a while, it's called Organ Trail Director's Cut, which I never played the Director's Cut version back when I played it, I just played the original, uh, and <clears throat> Organ Trail is kind of a take on the classic game, The Oregon Trail, which y'all know uh, where we're all from, we love that game because, I mean, come on, I've been playing that since I was a kid, it's like the classic story of Oregon up in here. So, uh, Oregon Trail, it takes that gameplay of the or Oregon Trail, where you're trying to, like, go across the country and um, survive on your way to uh, Oregon, but uh, instead of it just being there, it also is taking place during the zombie apocalypse, and it is wonderful. And so, the reason that I feel like it fits with the roguelite um, kind of genre and kind of fits in the rogues gallery is mostly because it does have a lot of randomness to it and you get these emergent stories. And that's what's so amazing is like these stories that just kind of build up um, that you can kind of like look back on and go like, man, every time I played this game, it's so different. Um, and so with that, you know, uh, let's just go ahead and jump in and you guys can see how this game works. Man, is it bonkers. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yes, I want to overwrite. I just popped into the game really quickly just so that I could remind myself what the game is like. Play on normal difficulty. I think that's fair. All right, so this is how you shoot zombies. You click on them and then drag towards yourself. So I'm going to kind of... Oh, I missed there. That's why you don't want to uh, be too hasty with it. Got to be careful. I might run out of ammo. Oh, and I'm out of ammo. Shit. Luckily, we have a friend here. This first part is sort of tutorially, so... Um, there's not too many worries around here, but from time to time we'll find ourselves fighting zombies like that. Okay, <clears throat> this, who's this guy? Well then, looks like I just saved your bacon. I reckon we stand a better chance out there if we stick together. My name's Clements. Used to be a priest. Not much use for those nowadays. What's your name, partner? Alright. My name is Price. Hello! Pleasure's all mine, Price. Listen, even with the two of us, we won't survive very long. Everyone I trusted died a while back. You know anyone we could count on in a pinch? I know a few. Jasmine for sure. I guess Ash and Rick. And for a fourth, uh, we'll just say Stumpy. My beautiful little stump. Are these names correct? Absolutely. Let's go for it. There's a good chance that they're still alive they'll be at the shelter set up in DC. If they have any sense, that is. We're gonna need a way to get around. I saw an old station wagon a few blocks back. Those things might not be very reliable, but you'd be surprised how roomy they are. Anyway, let's get them moving. Alright. Oh, and then from time to time you'll find yourself walking around in areas like this. Exploring for, say, supplies or other things. Uh, and uh, right now, like I said, it's still very uh, tutorial-y, but pretty soon it'll kick into the actual gameplay and you'll see how this works. <clears throat> Alright, I think I got just enough fuel and food for us to make it to DC in this baby. Let's hit the road. I'll drive. Alright, Clements. To make our way. And so this should look familiar to anyone who played the Oregon Trail, how you're kind of moving along the way um, towards... Clements broke his arm. What did he do? Why are you breaking your arm? And so yeah, you move towards your um, target and things and then little events happen and whatnot, you know? Clements has dysentery! God damn it, Clements. What did you drink? Ugh. Alright. Moving along. Clements was bitten by a zombie. Great, he's got a little zombie face next to his thing. That's fucking wonderful. And we're out of fuel. <clears throat> wonderful. All right, welcome to Washington, D.C. It's got some uh, zombies boogieing around, doing a little dance in the streets. And that dog's just hanging. He's fine. All right. Just as the station wagon runs out of fuel, you coast into the city. You can hear a radio blaring in a nearby window. Repeat. All survivors who still remain in Washington, D.C., the government has declared a Class Three biohazard in the area. They will be commencing a nuclear strike within a few short hours. Get out while you can. The city is lost. That sucks. Looks like we uh, got a time problem. I'll go look for your friends at the shelter. <clears throat> Meanwhile, you should go scavenging for supplies. Heard about a place on the west coast that's supposed to be a safe haven from all this chaos. Let's meet back here and head out. Here, take my journal. I've written down everything I know about surviving on the road. It should help you decide what you think we may need on the trip. Okay. Alright, so now we want to pick what supplies and we have 12 hours with which to allot our time. Let's look at the journal and see what's important. What is fuel? You can travel for four hours on a tank of gas. Find that you want to have at least eight tanks with you at any given time so you can make it to your next destination. And even then, these suckers seem to get lost or stolen all the time. Okay, so we definitely want 
eight tanks, maybe even more than that. Med kits. Sometimes you just need a good old-fashioned med kit. They always seem to perk someone up when they're feeling down. I've seen a guy with a broken arm say he felt at least 30% better, <laughs> at least 30% better, although after I patched him up with one of these bad boys. Always a good idea to have a handful of these around for emergencies. Money. Although most traders on the road don't find much value in paper money, there's still a little pocket of civilization to cling to the old ways. I keep a few hundred on me at any time so I can buy what I need when times get rough. Those merchants really have a funny sense of value at the end of times. To be able to find money while scavenging. Okay. Scrap. You need to scavenge for scrap if your car breaks down. You can make some general repairs to your vehicle with all the scrap lying around. The more you have, the better chance it will stick. I usually have, uh, I usually just get repairs at the auto shops myself. It's pricey, but I'm no good with my hands. Okay. Scavenging is the easiest way to get food other than all the zombies. Depending on the number of people in your group and uh, how you ration your food, you will burn through your food at a rate of 1 to 3 ounces per person per hour. It means you would be eating an average of 240 ounces a day in a group of 5. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, the world has gone to shit. It's a great thing that America loves its guns because it can't ever seem to kill enough of those zombie bastards. You'd be surprised how quick you burn through them. I've easily gone through a few dozen rounds just scavenging for food, and if you ever find yourself surrounded, you'd better be packing. Yeah, I think ammo is definitely something important. Okay, car parts. It's always good to have some spare car parts on you. You don't want to break down in the middle of nowhere and stand around waiting for someone who wants to trade whatever you got for what you need. I always carry a few extra batteries, tires, and mufflers on me. Don't leave home without them. Okay, so everything is obviously very important. Um, fuel... Oh, that took multiple hours, huh? Oh, no, it just took one. Okay. I say we go for, like, a double duty on fuel, because we definitely don't want to run out of fuel. Food, probably about that much, I would think. Um, ammo is a definite need. Maybe a backup battery. Oh, it's two batteries, two mufflers, two tires, a med kit. All right, we got a little bit more. Let's do one stack of money, just in case. Um, and maybe a little more ammo. I feel like ammo, just to protect ourselves, you know? Um, yeah, we'll go with that. It's pretty broad. We might be, I don't know, I might be shooting myself. My friends join the party. I don't know who is who, but, uh, these all look like familiar characters from famous films. Who'da thunk? Right, everyone's there. There's just, uh, one more thing. Back air on the road. One of those things bit me. I'm already not feeling too well, and I can't stand the thought of becoming one of them. Gonna have to put me down. Why don't you keep my journal? It may help you out there. Good luck. Oh, poor Clements. Thank you for teaching us things. And this is something that you might have to do from time to time in this game. Put down a friend. It's very sad. Very sad. This game gets dark. Don't know if you know. 230 miles to Pittsburgh. Let's do it. Click anywhere to continue. All right. You're out of water and you can't find it nearby. Everyone's dehydrated. What? Shit. I couldn't buy water. That's just that's just an unlucky event. Okay. Still moving. Heavy rubble has rendered our car stuck. Great. Oh, whoops. I hit stop. I didn't mean to hit that, actually. I thought that I could, like, see what it would say. Uh, click anywhere to continue. All right. So, yeah, we're going to have to deal with this, I think. Car. Set pace. Repair. Upgrades. Oh, that's what happens when you stop. You can, like... Okay. Supplies. I could scavenge. We've got scrap, food, med kits, ammo, tire. We're doing fine on most stuff. Um, okay, I could scavenge though. Oh, combat training, what the f You can learn new combat techniques for scavenging in small towns. Oh, I see, so I can learn that from people. Um, let's try scavenging. Let's see if we can't find anything around here. Use WASD to move, pull back to aim, release to shoot. Okay, oh, monies. Didn't kill him. Killed him. Got you. Okay. Ooh, this is a high activity zone. Please leave me alone. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to um, impose upon your little party over here. And this is why you get lots of ammo. I think that's food that I just got. Oh, the music is starting to pick up, which I think means that we're about to end this. Okay, just stay away. Don't let him get close. Dun, 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 dun. All right, what did we find? 300 ounces of food, but I was only able to carry back 250, and I also found $50. Not bad. That's stuff. Okay, um, let us... Uh, I think we will just continue, yeah? I think we're okay. Let's go back. All right, moving along. We're going to find our way west. We rummaged 31 ammo off a body at the side of the road. Oh, cool. We're not doing too hot all around. 
Why are we... Stumpy has cholera? Shit. Damn it, Stumpy. I didn't even know plants could get cholera. Fuel can went missing. That sucks. But we're going to make it to the city, I think. And that's what matters. Yes, okay. So when we're here, maybe we can rest up. A heavy fog rolls in. You're forced to drive more slowly. All right, we're in Pittsburgh. Click anywhere to continue. You can see that the fog is all over Pittsburgh. All right, Pittsburgh. Let's, um... Okay, let's do a lot of things. Uh, first of all, what can we buy? We can buy fuel, med kits, ammo, food, all that stuff. So I'll have to look at our um, stuff. How about um, jobs, maybe? There's a massive herd of the undead coming towards town. Hired guns needed. Difficulty suicide. Payment $66. There's a group of hostile folk who've holed up in a nearby building. I think they mean to take over. Um, $66. But it's a massive herd of the undead. We've got a lot of bullets. I mean, we could try it. Worst case scenario, we die. And that's fine. We just start over again. And I kind of want to show you guys what this game has to offer. So let's see. Pull back to aim, release to shoot, don't let the zombies get to you. So, oh, it's this one I see. Come on. So really, you just want to draw a, the straightest line that you possibly can to the guys that you're fighting. My mouse is in a terrible position for this right now, which is really bad. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on. Come on. Don't let him touch me. Don't let him touch me. Oh boy. No, hit him. Hit him. Oh God. Oh God, y'all. Oh God. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. They're all around me! I think I have to kill every one of them, too. It's a lot of ammo used, but I think we're okay. Man, that's a lot of zombies! <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at all those zombies. I survived the attack. Click anywhere to continue. What do I get? $66. Okay. I don't know if I feel about fighting a bunch of bandits with guns. That's probably gonna hurt me. Um, auto shop. Let's, uh... I can upgrade the car. Interesting. What does this do? It's a... Uh... What do you call those things? Air freshener? Repairs. Thirty-three dollars to repair the station wagon. Uh, yeah. Done. Uh, upgrades. Air freshener. Party members in front take one less damage. Oh, that's not bad. Um, reducing damage is not a bad idea. Fifty-one dollars though. That's expensive. We'll get it. We'll try it. Okay. Uh, let's look at our party. Can we use a med kit on Stumpy? Hopefully that. Oh, I thought that maybe that would heal him. Uh, let's let's maybe rest. How long would we like to rest? Maybe four hours. Will that help us in any way with our with our health? Oh yeah, that totally helps. Cool. Okay. Good to know. Oh, and then for some reason I am not healing at all. I don't know why. Weird. Stumpy no longer has cholera. Great. So maybe, like, maybe you as the main character, you have to do something else to heal? I don't know. Let's talk to the stranger. Okay, be warned, stranger. Don't dig a water hole. Drink only river water. Salty as the river is, it's better than an infection. We buried my husband last week. Could use some help with this grave for my kids if you can spare the time. That's awful. That is awful. Uh, let's go back to town. Let's, uh, let's buy some things. I think we're going to want... Um, we lost a fuel can. Right? So let's buy, let's buy two of those. And uh, ammo, I think we're good on. Med kits, we use one. Scrap, we should probably have a little bit of. Let's grab a little bit of that. Okay. And we'll keep the rest of our money. And I guess that that is the rest. How are we doing? Do, 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 do. Where we, where's our fuel? 15.5. That's probably, yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's leave. You must cross a horde of zombies in order to continue on the road. The horde in front of you is currently large in size and appears to be alert. Oh boy. Break out guns and clear a path. Attempt to sneak through. Hire mercenaries to escort you. Get information about your choices. Wait to see if the horde disperses. Uh, shit, man. If they're alert and it's large, I don't know. I can't sneak through, I don't think. Hiring mercenaries, I don't think I can afford. We're going to clear a path, y'all. It's going to be tough. Bam, 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 bam. We're overrun. <gasps> we lost a tire and a med kit. Shit. That sucks. 
Oh, God. That's okay. 200 miles to the mall. Alright, we're heading to the mall, y'all. Ash has typhoid. Fuck, Ash. Do better. We're gonna probably have to pull over and rest at some point, which is too bad. Station wagon's not looking too pretty. Ash is dicking with a muffler and accidentally ruins it. Ash! What the fuck are you doing? You got typhoid. You shouldn't be messing around with any heavy machineries. A muffler. Rude. Just rude. Rick gets shot by a stray bullet. Fuck, Rick! We can make it to town. We can make it to town. I don't want to have to pull over. Okay. I say town. I meant the mall. Alright, let's, um... Oh, there's a combat trainer. Let us... Heal up Rick, first off. My goodness, Rick. That can't be good. Alright, and let's rest. Two hours, I think. That should help people a little bit. Maybe Ash will get healed of his typhoid. Oh boy. Cool. Alright. And let us go back to town. Combat trainer. What can you get? Money scavenger. A grizzled stranger beckons you to a dark corner office to teach you some useful techniques for 80 bucks. I don't have that. Find more money than anything else while scavenging. That would be nice, but I don't have uh, the money for it. I could sell some stuff for it. But I don't have anything I want to sell. Okay. What about buying? What, what can we buy? They've got fuel here. I think we're okay on fuel. Uh, jobs, what you got? I dropped something of great value outside of town. If you could find it, please return it. Sure. I can do this. Move around. Reach the goal at the end of the level to win. I assume it's this way. Yep. Boom, boom. We're getting chased. Bang. Bang. Back off, jerks. Oh, shit. That's a lot. That's a lot. Let's, uh, not let you do this. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm slightly faster than they are, so that's nice. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is, uh, this is scary, y'all. Oh, man. This is, like, the most intense survival horror type game I have ever played. I made it! I made it, y'all! Click anywhere to continue. Okay. There are no more jobs listed. I earned $23, so that's good. Still don't have enough to buy that thing. I could sell some stuff to maybe. Mm, I don't want to sell med kits. Those are the most expensive. Food. I don't really want to waste. Ugh. If I sold... Is it $3 per bullet? It can't be $3 per bullet. How many bullets? So 20 for 3. So I would have to sell... 200 bullets to buy the thing. More than that. Nah, I don't want to. It's okay. Done. Alright, um, let us, I guess, we healed up. And, uh, we're good on fuel. Oh, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I just noticed. Uh, it's the freaking, uh, Resident Evil guy. Alright, uh, let us, we're just gonna go. We're gonna move forward, I think. Party's good? Yeah, party's good. Oh, talk to stranger. Let's see what a stranger has to say. We encounter no one. Okay. 142 miles to Indianapolis. We hit a zombie. Leaves a ding in the hood of the station wagon. Okay, that's not great. Heavy rubble has rendered, has rendered our car stuck. Great. Ash no longer has typhoid, so that's good. Can we move? Thank you. I'm going to probably have to pull over and heal the car of some sort. Find some roadkill. It's probably safe to eat. Gross. <laughs> uh. Okay. Our tire broke out. We're able to replace it from the supplies. And that's why you always have supplies. All right, uh, buying. Do do do. Med kit we could probably use, but let's before we do that, auto shop. We're gonna need what's the upgrade? Never lose a gas can. That's cool. Uh, we need to buy some tires. One tire for thirty nine bucks. Oh, these guys are dicks. Oh, the dicks. Okay, done. Um, party. Ah, we need to repair this sucker. Let's use some, use some scrap. Chance of success goes up with as much scrap as you use. And so, like, you could use ten scrap for a really nice chance. I'm gonna go with five. Please work. <laughs> Nice! Okay. 
Uh, and then I think, what are the jobs we got? Payment is two mufflers. A crate fell out the back of our car on the way to town. Can you go find it? It's dangerous. Large number of zombies just outside my home. Please come and eradicate them. Dangerous. Well, it's not suicide. So let's go look for these mufflers. Use Waz to move around. Okay, so this is just like that one that we just did. All right. Oh, boy. You guys, this game is, like, shockingly intense for what it is. Like, it looks like, oh, it's just some simple little whatever game. No, nah, man, it's intense. You get really into it, even with the Atari-style graphics, or I guess uh, Apple II, if you want to really get back to the classics. Man, Ugh, the big ones are... Um, they take two shots. Yeah, you can just stop, please. Okay. Gotcha, son. Nice! Made it. Got our mufflers. All good. We're in two. Okay, let's do this one, too. Large number of zombies just outside. Yeah, let's take them on. How many bullets do we have? We still got, like, 500 or something bullets. I need to scavenge again, I think. Um, so that is something I'm definitely going to want to do on the next... While we're on the road the next time. Just pull over and try that out. Okay. Oh, man. It's so intense. Ugh! But well, hopefully you guys can see what I love about this game. It's these, like, emergent stories. Like, fucking Ash dicking around with a muffler and breaking it. What? <laughs> what? Why? How? What is the story behind that event? But then just how, like, yeah, your, uh, your party can, you know... Suddenly we could get bit by a zombie. You know, somebody could get in major troubles. And uh, that would not be good. Uh, so that's what I love about this game. That's why I think it's a really fantastic one. I don't really know what the differences are from the director's cut. I think the opening thing was different. All right, we got a little bit of money, so that's nice. Um, I guess if that's all of that, I say we kind of just go. Maybe a little bit more scrap because we used a good amount of it. Let's buy two of those. Let's buy a med kit because we did use one. All right, and... Uh, Let's leave. All right, we're heading to farmland. Oh, I didn't even look at fuel. Let us, uh, heavy ash covers the windshield, which forced us to slow down. That's fine. Let's, um, what do you call it? Scavenge. Oh, can we not? Supply. Scavenge, yeah. That's what I want to do. Can you scavenge in town? I didn't check, but maybe you can, and I just wasn't paying attention. All right. What are we looking for? Foods. Got foods. It's good. Activity is low, so that's nice. Back off. All right. Anything else on the ground somewhere? Oh, yep. What is that? Is that food as well? I think, yeah, it's like a bag of chips or something. Get out of here. Come on. Monies. Nice. Back off, big one. You take two bullets, and I don't like that. I don't see anything else spawning. But maybe I'm just not paying attention. Is there no more stuff? Uh -huh. Get away from me! Ah, get away from me! Goodness, we found 115 ounces of food and 50 bucks. Not bad. Just leaving 50 bucks on the ground. Who knows? All right, let's um, let's get back to it. We took a wrong turn, son of a bee. Uh, we'll probably scavenge again here in a second because we're gonna need to rest anyways. Although if we can make it to town or to the next stop, that would probably be best for that. How are we doing on fuel? We're still doing okay on fuel, actually. Really not doing too poorly. So let's just, yeah, let's pull up to this farm. We hear gunfire. Uh-oh. Farmland. Gunfire. It's bad. Combat trainer, what you got? Medkit scavenger. Medkits have a chance of appearing while scavenging. Ooh, that could be useful. What jobs you got? I'm having trouble sleeping. I keep seeing movement outside. Come protect me. For nine bucks. Maybe. What can we buy here? Food and ammo. Okay. And supply. Can we scavenge here? We can scavenge here. All right, let's try scavenging in town. Let's see what that's like. Zombie activity is deadly. Whoops. Maybe I picked the wrong thing. Monies. Do, 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 do. We're gonna be in trouble. Okay. Please leave. Please leave. Oh, no. No. Oh, goodness. What is this? A muffler? Something? Some kind of scrap? That looks like scrap. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, y'all. Oh, boy. I made a mistake. This is a bad idea. Oh, I want the food. Gimme. Stay away from me, please. Oh, stay away from me, please. I don't want to go too near the edges because they can just spawn. <laughs> Back off. Back off. Oh my god, a horde. There's so many. Y'all. 
I'm back into a corner. Oh, God. <laughs> that was too close. That was way too close. Oh, man. Ooh. All right. Uh, we could now afford that thing if we wanted to. Let's um, party. Let's see how we're doing. Let's rest up. Ash is still not doing too well after the uh, typhoid incident. All right. So I do think that when we initially started, maybe we grabbed, like, we could have grabbed more of other stuff. Um, we have way more food and way more fuel than we necessarily needed. I still don't understand my health. I don't know how to... I mean, I could probably use a med kit or something, but I don't understand why it doesn't go up. Um, oh, is there an auto shop here? There's not. I could try upgrading it again. Or not upgrading, repairing it again. Boop, 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 boop. Let's try that. It would be nice. Mom. Huh? Yeah! All right, cool. Um, they're good. And I guess, maybe, where are we? So this is where we've made it, and we have to make it all the way to Oregon. Whoo boy, that's a long trek. I don't know if we're going to be able to make that in this uh, this go, but uh, let's let's go ahead uh, and let's, let's do that job. Let's see what this is like. He's having trouble sleeping. He needs me to protect him. All right, so let's just kill Zonvils. I can do that. I can definitely take care of that. I wonder if maybe on the harder difficulties you just don't get as much stuff to start off with, because that alone would probably make this insanely more difficult. Oh, didn't hit that one. Come on. Okay. Come on. Yeah, there we go. So it's interesting how the, the shooting mechanic works, because you're essentially drawing a line from you to the zombie, and then however um, off the angle of that line is, uh, is how far wide you shoot the shot. It's pretty interesting. All right, come on, get out of here, Zombo. But I think yeah, let's uh, we'll we'll take our way to one more town, see if anything crazy happens, and uh, and then we'll be uh, I think that'll be where we'll end this episode. We gained nine dollars. It's great. What's the combat trainer guys got? Medkit scavenger. That's a really good one. You know, that's really not too bad. That's most of our money though. Let's do it. Come on, yolo is what they say. A bike gang follows us out of the settlement. Oh shoot. Use WASD to move. Bandits will try to pull up next to you and shoot. Crash into them to knock them off their bikes. Oh, I see. Okay. Back off, jerk. Gotcha. Gotcha. Gotcha, son. Gotcha, son. Gotcha, son. Oh, geez. This would do uh, quite a lot of damage to our car, methinks. Like, if we're trying to protect our car from damage. Also, these guys have a lot of bikes. You almost feel like it wouldn't be worth it for these guys to just try and take out one single station wagon. Really, what could they get out of it? To be fair, I know what they could get out of it. Quite a lot of fuel, quite a lot of food, lots of ammo. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Oh, goodness. That was close. That was close. Don't. Don't. This guy get too much space. Ugh. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Freaking biker gang. <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right, 160 miles to Chicago. Let's do it. All right. You think you see something going on in the distance? Will you get out of the car to investigate? Yes. Always. I hear haunting organ music coming from a small, ruined-looking building. There are bullet holes all over the walls. You enter to see a woman dressed for a wedding. The room is full of bodies, most of which look shot, uh, shot up pretty bad. The woman's dress is spattered with blood. She notices you and stops playing. Oh, I didn't realize someone was there. Her eyes are red from crying, and her makeup is a mess. Do you think you could help me? Let's inquire further. I was supposed to get married. I guess that's pretty obvious. My fiancé had gotten bitten right before the ceremony. I don't know the details, but he was running late. He must have gotten careless. Once my father found out, he insisted that I not be married to... She chokes on her words. He called my fiancé an abomination. That's when father pulled his gun. What's with the zombies? What? Wait, oh. What with the zombies about? Everyone on both sides of the family pretty much had a gun. My love for him is all I have left anymore. Could I ask you to bear witness to our vows? I still want to go through with this. It's all I've got left. Yikes. Uh, do I oversee a zombie wedding? Well, here's, here's a little um, real-life info for you guys. I have actually overseen a wedding before. I uh, am able to do weddings uh, because it's pretty easy to do in Oregon legally. So, um, so yeah. Uh, so I will bear witness. 
can't see. Stand at the stage as she fights through the tears to make her vows to the body of her husband. I take you to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, this day forward, until death do us part. Declare them husband and wife. Thank you. Ooh, man, that's some heavy shit. Oh, that's some heavy shit. Fuck, man, this game. All right, we get lost on a backcountry road for an hour. That sucks. Fuck, dude, that is rough. Oh, man. You're out of water and you can't find any. Everyone's dehydrated. Great. All right, I think we'll pull over ahead. Oh, we're almost in Chicago. Notice something going on a ways off the road. Will you get out? Of course. Of course. It's interesting stuff. You walk into a restaurant and see a bald, round-faced man in a chef's outfit eagerly working the kitchen. Ah, customers, come in, come in. Have a seat. Please try my latest masterpiece. Uh, you sit down and have a bite of the interesting pile on your plate. It's awful. How is it? He asks nervously. You can tell this man is at his wit's end, and this is probably all he has left anymore. You tell him it's good, all right? You just be polite. You tell him it's good and finish your plate. You feel ill. Spectacular! Here, here! Take some more food for the road! He hands you some food, which is luckily in can form. He seems quite content with himself and continues working the kitchen. So now we're all probably ill. Yeah, I'm ill. <laughs> and that's what you get for being nice sometimes. You pay the price. All right, we made it to Chicago. Let's, uh, let's see what happens here. What do you got to buy? All kinds of stuff. Ammo, normal stuff. Let's see some jobs. Having trouble sleeping, it keeps seeing movement. Having trouble sleeping, it keeps seeing movement. All right, well, those are, we, we know what those do. Um, I think that maybe this will be, oh, let's see, what what's that upgrade? Air freshener. I can replace it with GPS, never lose the road. Ah, I like the air freshener thing. Um, here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to, A, I'm going to medkit myself. Uh, B, I think we're going to do one last scavenging run. And then I think that'll be where we call it. So let's go see what we can't find on this road. Zombie activity is only a medium here, so that's not so bad. All right, that looked like a can of food. Oh, man. This game. I love it. And I hope you guys uh, uh, like it, too. I hope you decide you want to go check it out. It, you can usually find it um, for pretty cheap. If, you, if it's not cheap right now, like... I mean, I think, like, the maximum price is only something like 5 or maybe $10. But, like, it's been on Humble Bundles. It's gone on Steam sales for, like, a dollar, I think. So definitely... Um, Look into picking it up if it's something that intrigues you because it's a pretty um, cheap game and it's a fun little one. Like I've, I've definitely had a lot of fun with this game, uh, and uh, yeah, it's it's just a really enjoyable experience, especially if you're like me and you grew up playing the Oregon Trail. All right, we found a ton of food, but I can only carry back 250 ounces. Oh well. Okay, y'all. Well, I mean, I think that that's where we're gonna leave this. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Price's Rogues Gallery. I know this one was a little bit unorthodox, but I feel like it fits, right, with the kind of randomness of the story that comes about, because that's really what I'm all about here. I'm about emergent games, games that change every time you play them, games that kind of give you some kind of new thing um, to play it, so it gives that replayability, right? It's like that, that classic feel of gaming from when I was a kid. Anyways... If you liked what you saw, please be sure to give the video a like, a favorite, and subscribe to the channel. I have been Price, and I will see y'all next time.